What is happening in the world of design? What is happening in the world of entertainment? How are you justifying yourself watching television shows that have the following has sexual content? You're like, oh, it's just some sexual content. It's a sum. I can forward it. You know, I could skip that part. I just see the first second of it. Then I'll say astaghfirullah. Then I'll watch it again when nobody else is there. It's disgusting. But this is what shaitan has done. And he knew that human beings will lose their dignity if they lose their clothes. And now we are living in times where losing the clothing is celebrated. It's just celebrated. Why are guys working out if they're going to stay dressed? You can, you can tell me you're working out because you want to be healthy. But there are plenty of other exercises you can do. But you want to build certain muscles of your body because eventually you want to find an excuse where somebody sees you. It's sad. Even guys. Even guys, uh, girls, you know, why are they, there, there are girls that are dressed and they, they want to tell themselves they're dressed Islamically, they're, they're covered head to toe, but covering isn't just the Islamic code of dress, it's about protecting, covering what Allah beautified within you, so if you're, co if you're covered head to toe but you're wearing skin tight clothes, you know, or you're drawing attention to certain parts of your body with the way, the kinds of clothes you're wearing, you know, you don't, don't kid yourself, you know. And I'm talking to you like your older brother. I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna you know, beat around the bush. It is like it is. My daughters have to hear this from me too. So I'm not gonna come and talk to you like just a, a formal lecture, somebody might get offended. Look, I'll tell you like it is. You're 14, 15 years old, you're 16 years old, 17 years old, it, there's no reason you should be dressing like that. There's no reason. And don't kid yourself that you're wearing a hijab and don't kid yourself, you know? And I'm not going to call you out if you're walking by, hey, dress better or whatever. I'm not going to call you out, but this is my opportunity to call you out. And nobody else can call you out. You have to call yourself out. You have to stop letting shaitan trick you into thinking, this is your way of looking beautiful. This is not. This is not. This is sad. This is what it's people who don't have anything higher to find meaning in. This is what they find meaning in. I'm not saying you shouldn't dress nicely. Girls have a natural tendency to want to dress nicely. Guys can look like homeless people and they're fine. <laughs> girls, uh, girls have a thing. They want to dress nicely. That's fine. You know, I wouldn't dress like this if my mom didn't tell me. I, just, I wouldn't do it. You know? So my mom said, I said, I'm going to like, okay, mom, I'll dress up. Okay, okay. <laughs> you can go like that? Like that? To a lecture? I was like, okay, mom. All right. Fine. I'll dress like a human. <laughs> but, but girls want to look pretty. That's fine. You know what? Cool. That's cool. No problem. Allah even says when He revealed clothing, He said warisha and means to look well, look nice. He did. But not provocative and you are smart enough to know the difference and please don't pretend you don't. You do. You know very well. And your mother calls you out on it too. Your mother calls you out and says, Mom, come on, don't say that. You're embarrassing me. No, she's not embarrassing you. She's giving you a reality check. Because shaitan's messing with you and your mom's trying to help you out. Don't dress like that, don't dress like this. And then there are the sad situations in our families where the mother tells the daughter, take the hijab off. Why is your jilbab so loose? Why can't you get a tighter one? That'll look nicer. You know, there are those sad, disgusting situations. That needs to stop.